Je m'appelle Anissa Kelfaoui, j'ai 24 ans et je suis escrimeuse de l'équipe nationale algérienne. Anissa Kelfaoui est Algérie's fencing champion. Elle est training pour l'ultime test de sa carrière, les Olympic Games Rio 2016. In the Middle East and North Africa, the next generation of athletes rise. An elite force exceeding expectation to reach gold. These are their stories through their eyes. Anissa has competed twice before at the Olympics in Beijing and in London. On both occasions, she was knocked out after her first match. When you arrive at the Olympics, it's a world totally different. It's a dream. In my life, every athlete has this dream. And uh, now, it's sure that I've already been there once. And now, these are my third games. And I would like to... J'aimerais vraiment, en fait, je travaille très dur pour euh, réussir à faire quelque chose, pour me réaliser un peu plus. Anissa competes in the foil event, one of three fencing styles contested at the games that evolved from sword fighting combat. The foil is a lightweight, flexible blade, and points are scored when its tip touches the opponent's torso. A contest of strategy and speed, women's foil made its Olympic debut at the 1924 games in Paris. The first contenders wore white vests that marked when struck by the tip of the foil. At the Games in Melbourne in 1956, scores were electronically recorded for the first time, and high-speed strikes no longer passed unnoticed. Today, modern fencing is a showcase of rapid precision moves, and the very best contenders score at speeds almost too quick for the human eye. At the close of each training session, Anissa competes in a trial match. Just like at the games, she and her opponent battle each other across three three-minute rounds. The secret for why I love scrim is just because I probably love everything that is complicated, and it's a sport very complicated. It demands a lot of mental, a lot of physical, a lot of reflection, a lot of intelligence. And once you manage to touch the adversary, it's that you've found your weak point and that you've found a solution to your problem. Chaque point que tu mets, c'est une satisfaction que tu as parce que tu as trouvé une solution. Et je pense que c'est vraiment qu'est-ce qui m'a passionné à l'escrime parce que chaque adversaire est différent et donc à chaque fois tu as un nouveau problème devant toi qu'il faut résoudre. Donc c'est comme ça que je vois un peu les choses. To help motivate Anissa take on the elite competition ahead, her sister has organized a visit to Algeria's Committee of Olympic Sport. It's here that the nation's past sporting heroes are honored. Pourquoi pas ajouter l'escrime? Je vraiment que peut-être après Rio, je réussirai à faire en sorte que ma photo soit là-bas avec le drapeau algérien, une médaille olympique. Ouais, ça c'est légende. Ça c'est vraiment. En tout cas, ça ça donne envie, hein. Ça donne vraiment envie de, de se dépasser. Fifteen hundred kilometers north from Algeria, Anissa has traveled to Germany to compete for the Reinhold Worth Cup. Held in the medieval city of Tauber Bischofsheim, this elite competition is taking place at the world's most successful fencing club. Famous for producing champions, the club was the home base for Olympic gold medal winner Thomas Bach, the ninth president of the International Olympic Committee. Viele große Turniere haben hier stattgefunden und wir sind hier traditionell wirklich so im Mecca des Fechtsports. Anissa is competing against 132 of the world's best female fencers to win this event and to guarantee the best start at the Olympic Games Rio 2016. Each match consists of three three-minute bouts, and her first contest gets off to a strong start.
l'escrime. Le caractère que ça prendrait vraiment, ce serait de la persévérance. C'est très important. C'est une guerre qui se passe sur piste. C'est une guerre physique, c'est une guerre mentale, c'est une guerre d'intelligence. C'est beaucoup de choses en même temps, beaucoup de facteurs. T'as l'arbitre. With one match remaining, Anissa knows she's running out of time to reach the winner's podium. Anissa faces her final opponent, who immediately attacks her with a quick succession of strikes. With her confidence knocked, she concedes five points and loses her last game five to one. Although Anissa has lost the match and is out of the competition, today's world-class event has afforded her the very best test before the games. It's a very good analysis to see what I need to work, what has worked and what has not worked. It's sure that it's a dream. Everyone dreams of that. But at this moment, at this period, we don't think about winning or losing. It's just to be prepared Et pour moi, c'est aussi une forme de, de reprise de confiance. C'est des étapes très importantes avant les Jeux Olympiques. 